Doctor, can you explain the aging process in the brain? What happens as we get older, specifically to our brain, and, and what makes some of the cognitive functions that we've talked about deteriorate over right. time? Right. Well, the first thing that happens, and we see this many times, of course, in brain chemistry, is as we get older, the brain tends to shrink. And, of course, if the brain shrinks, if the, uh, the function of the brain that's shrinking, you do lose some of the function, you lose some of the ability because you're basically losing volume. And the brain is made up of, uh, what we spoke about before, the cerebral cortex is made up of four lobes. And if those lobes start to shrink, you're kind of losing the ability to remember a lot of things, to put things together that you did maybe 20 years ago. So you are losing what's known as neurons or the neuron ability to be able to put things together. Another thing that happens when we age is we all go through a series of oxidation of uh, materials in our whole body, mm -hmm. but it also occurs in the brain. So any type of deterioration, that can be managed, of course, but it's just part of aging is that we do start to deteriorate a little, just like our muscles and bones and everything else deteriorate. Also, we have receptor sites in our brain. And these receptor sites, when we're younger and we're functioning, they're more open. And more receptor sites, the more information that we get in and the way we remember. As we age sometimes, and also due to disease, such as things like diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular disease, these all cause problems that eventually will reach brain function, meaning that these same receptors may shrink below the membrane, so they're not, being, they're not functioning as well as when we were younger. So aging process, with not necessarily a disease, but many people do think of aging as a disease, is something that we have to overcome and keep using our brain. And one of the reasons why it's very good to stay active, mentally active, is because by continuing to use our brain and continuing to use the cognitive function that we have, we are keeping those neurons uh, functioning better than if we weren't using them. Another thing that also happens that's very important is as we age, we have um, the nerves themselves are covered with an insulation called myelin. Mm -hmm. And this myelin tends to, it, it, doesn't, it shrinks, it starts to become thinner, and in many cases, it even starts to disappear. And myelin is part of the insulation that allows nerve fibers to fire well and to send uh, neurochemicals from one part of the brain to the other. If you lose that insulation, those neurochemicals, they may be still firing, but they're not firing at the same speed. They're not, tr the transmission isn't the same. So we got a slower transmission. And so when you have a slower transmission, that's what happens. You, your brain starts to work a little slower. So every, the reaction time and things like that also are slower.